This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Squarespace. What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and welcome back, friends, to the episode of Rettinger's Riffs. This is a show where I just talk about anything tech related that comes right out of my mind hole. Up this week, it's all about tiny individual pieces that come together to make one badass phone. It's all about Project Aura and its modular awesomeness. Let's go ahead and get started. In case you're not familiar with what Project Aura is, it's sort of Google's modular phone platform they've been working on for years. And by modular, I mean different pieces that come together to make an entire phone. So you could have your processor module, your camera module, RAM module, your LTE module, your cellular module, everything else can be popped out and upgraded individually, which sounds in theory to be just ridiculously awesome. Let's say you want a better camera instead of having to buy a brand new phone, just buy a new camera module, pop it in. Let's say you need more processing, you just go ahead and buy a new processor, pop it in. You want to upgrade to the new Snapdragon chip, drop it right in. Uh, you don't have to worry about upgrading new phones, just the pieces of the phone that you want. Uh, it sounds super cool, and even cooler than that, it's actually going to be a reality. So today, which is Wednesday the 14th, Google held a conference to kind of talk a little bit more about Project R, which has kind of lived in the sort of mythical world of tech stuff. Things that were theoretically possible, uh, we have seen sort of early examples of, never actually seen a real application of it that people can get their hands on. That, friendo, is about to change. So Google unveiled a platform called Spiral 2, uh, which includes a 3G radio support for phone calls over 3G networks. But what you're gonna say, Hey, what about LTE? Unfortunately, that's not expected until the second quarter uh, of this year, but it will be coming. Uh, it also has support for hot swapping modules, which is a huge deal. So while you're using the phone, go ahead and pop out the camera module and pop it right back in without having to turn the thing off and then sort of do your swapping. The focus of this conference will be on providing developers the tools to create their own modules. And speaking of them badass modules, batteries can be hot swapped now in low power mode. Spiral 3 will fully support uh, full swapping too, and the phone is powered on again, which is just super awesome. Google said that the next iteration of Spiral 2 is set to launch during the second quarter of this year, which is not that far away, followed by a market pilot and official launch shortly after that. Although they didn't say the dates, but soon. So imagine you want a bigger battery, you just buy a bigger battery module, or you want to carry an extra one, just pop it in. Let me stop just my giddiness with modules, tell you real quickly about our friends at Squarespace. I actually built the original John4Lakers.com on Squarespace, and that was back in the day. And if I can figure out how to build a website, you will have no trouble with it at all. Squarespace makes it super easy. And they're on Squarespace 7 now. They've got integration with Google Apps, they've got partnership with Getty Images, a ton of new templates. If you want to build a website, maybe you don't know how to code and you want one that's going to look great, be functional, be scalable, Squarespace is absolutely the way to go. I personally used it. Start your free trial today, no credit cards required. If you had an idea for a website, that's a good time to do it. Uh, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code TECHNO with a capital T to get 10% off your first purchase. Also show your support for these guys. Squarespace, start here, go anywhere. I don't know, maybe two generations from now, Nexus phones will have a modular design. Maybe it'll be a separate modular design smartphone. Any way this happens, I think it is just ridiculously cool. Uh, and imagine what developers can do with it. Modules for absolutely anything. Uh, you want a module for detecting infrared. You want a module for detecting pollution. You want a module for detecting uh, moisture level in the air, whatever it might be, your phone can now do that. If your phone doesn't do it when you buy it, you can just add something on that'll be able to sort of give that ability. Uh, new charging standards are gonna be coming. Uh, more upgrades to USB will be there. Uh, all these kind of cool things that you want on a phone that you really, reason that you upgraded, uh, now be able to just pop in a new module. If you guys can't tell, I'm super excited about this. Things like this don't come around every day. I hope we're looking at the really early stages of a paradigm shift. Uh, in smartphones and sort of technology as a whole. My hope though is that we'll start to see this become available soon, maybe five, seven, eight years, I know I missed six in there, uh, and start to be the new way we use our devices. It just, it's incredible to see this dream that a lot of people have thought of years ago start to be realized. And it just makes me giddy as a nerd to see this. I'm reading along with you as this is happening, um, you know, just like you guys are, I'm just like drooling to try it. Hopefully though, we'll get our hands on early production uh, on these things uh, in the relative future. And guys, what do you think about modular phones? Are you as just giddy and excited as I am? What application would you want? What modules would you want? For me, just better battery life, please, uh, would be really, really fancy and cool. Uh, anyway guys, until next time, I'm John Rentner from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. 
Thank you guys for watching another Techno Buffalo video. I hope you enjoyed. We love consumer electronics here, and if you are as passionate about them as we are, hit the big subscribe button. We've got new videos coming at you every day. We talk about phones, tablets, laptops, and everything in between. And if you like video games, check us out at Twitch, where we play video games, although admittedly not very well, at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. All the links are right down below.